need a pattern and a cardboard so that it will fold over next trace it out on a piece of leather so that when you fold it all up the outside's going to be on the outside the sheath and i smooth side the letters on the leathers on the outside the sheath and this is what you get a piece of nice leather like that next you wet the leather a little you get it wet and you scrape it you see the marks i got from the center all the way down to the point at the bottom so that when you fold the leather it will fold over it will fold over nicely and you wet it so that you can bend it around the shape of the knife when the leather is wet you take it and you mold it you can mold it very easily look how i'm pressing with my fingers now if you use a tool the marks of the tool will come out in the leather so you don't want that you can just get you out a spacer that'll be about a quarter inch thick and that fits in between the, the edges of the sheath when we when we uh, lace it together so that the blade of the knife doesn't cut the sheath it cuts into this piece of leather here take it out on an old piece of scrap put it out with the exacto knife or whatever you got utility knife keep fitting the knife back in the case open up the case see exactly where your knife is now you lay out the spacer and what you want to do and what i always do is make sure that there's going to be about an eighth of an inch here so if you fall into a into a, a bog somewhere or saw still water and your knife case gets filled up with water it's going to drain out now you mark it along here and you cut it off glue it in place i'm going to put this on put a little glue on this part as well glue them up to glue them together all right angie glue it up put something heavy on there let it dry I flip it over now, trim it off. I should all trim it up and work it. Now you have to decide how you're going to attach it to your belt. You're going to, you're just going to put another block of leather here, so it'll hang low on your belt, your belt hanging here, or you're going to take that and you're going to bend it over and attach it like so, so that it'll rise high on your belt. Choice is yours, you can do it either way. I'm choosing to let the knife go low, so I cut out an old piece of scrap here. I'm going to lay that over here, and I'm going to trim it up so I can screw it on. I'm going to have an attachment, a way to put it onto my belt. Mark out where you want the holes to be drilled in order to stitch. That's my mark line. So I'm going to drill holes in that, and I'm going to stitch it. Drill some holes. Uh, spaced a little apart and sew them on up. I like to, I like to cut out a little groove going from screw hole to screw hole so that the thread lays flat. Careful doing that though. You can see, look, I, I marked it by accident. Oh, I polish that out. It's up your line. Drill all the holes in your sheath. Get ready to sew like it up. To use a saddle stitch. the knot right there I tied the knot in the line finished done